at an angle theta. For which the ball will just touch the roof. What is roof? There is a roof. We should touch it. <coughs> what do you mean by touch? I think it should describe trajectory. I'll bring this later on. First we'll you see that. Uh, so what is the condition given? The roof somewhere at point P here it is going to graze it. So this is the alpha. This is the angle of projection theta. this online class it is demanding so many things from here yeah. <laughs> not only physics I should be good in other things also here uh, okay I think mm, yeah fine so it will touch the okay carry on now AB is a roof. Find the H for which the body. This is the H. Speed is given. Theta and alpha are given. So I think this is also a condition of just grazing. Such so that it should graze the surface. Then graze the surface means what, what shall we do? Okay, the point where this is x comma y will define it at equal zero I project it at any time t it is here shall we write first the equation of that line a b hmm? first we'll go for equation of line a b line line or roof equation for roof AB. I think now you are all familiar it's a negative slope y equal to minus tan alpha x plus h what is tan alpha? alpha is 45 degrees that is a given so therefore this will become minus x plus h I think there is a one primary equation then the projectile which is projected from the origin should go and touch the roof at point P so what is the equation x tan theta Ah, pranay, okay, yeah. H, okay, I think check, check once, check once. Y equal to x tan theta minus g x square 2u square cos square theta. Y x theta, theta is 45 degrees, theta also 45 degrees. So, this will be g x square 2 10 square cos square theta cos 1 by root 2 whole square x minus 10 x square by 100 or this is x minus x square by 10 mm, ok so it's fine I think solving 1 and 2 
but what is the problem okay let's do one thing let me replace y in terms of x that one so i'll go and replace put next part of the problem put 1 in 2 minus x plus h x minus x square by 10 so this will become x square by 10 minus 2x plus h equal to 0 or x square minus 20x plus 10h equal to 0 now, now we have other things so how many times the projectile the ball should touch only once no so therefore this root <coughs> this quadratic equation only one root only one root should be there to have only one root b square equal to 4ac b square equal to 4ac i think it's better to really take help of this quadratic equation i think today they were helping us a lot so we'll put like this who is a body is the body touches the roof AB only once during the flight or during the motion so only one root should exist Hence, what we can write that quadratic equation b square minus 4ac must be equal to 0. So, from that uh, b square minus 20 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 10 h should be equal to 0. 10 meter, yeah. we should really thank the quadratic equations it is little bit that conditions the physical condition which is there that we are satisfying we are taking help of quadratic equations and there's the main purpose of maths i'm telling this one what all you learn maths know the trigonometry the determinants the algebra everything is useful for us one or the other way in engineering field the sad part is like you don't learn mass of this kind i think in quadratic equation only instead of line curve if they were like a ram through projector you know things would have been different you would have enjoyed still more better higher mathematics mathematics would have been more enjoyable you can convert so therefore i suggest you like just go search and whenever any topic of math begins no just type in google because we have now internet no just type what is use of it you have got plenty of applications that say like it is used here it is here so that when search starts the chapter now you'll be in a better position you'll get an exact picture oh i am learning for this purpose 